Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be working on another walnut based project. Earlier on this fall, I showed you how to make a walnut wreath. This is uh, equally as easy of a project, except there is one additional step. We're going to be making walnut cones and walnut spheres. Um, so when we made the walnut wreath, all you had to do was just hot glue the walnut straight to the wreath form. But in this case, since our forms are not very pretty, we need to create a pretty base because you can't get walnuts so close together that you can't see between them. And when you see between them, you want to see pretty moss and not foam. Um, so these are foam forms that I got at the craft store. And I know there's some controversy regarding foam and all that business, um, but it's not like we're creating this and then we're going to be tossing it. This is something that will last for years and years and years. basically as many years as I want to keep them around, they'll last. Um, so we'll be hot gluing this moss right here, this beautiful moss to the wreath form. Here's my hot glue gun and my extra hot glue. And then I'll be taking my walnuts and gluing that right on top of the moss. I also brought some pine cones up because I thought it might be kind of pretty to incorporate some pine cones to break it up a little bit, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. And then in the very end, I'm gonna be doing a very light spray of this metallic gold just to give it a little bit of a sheen. The other thing I wanted to address really quick before we get into the project are the walnuts themselves. So we have a local source for walnuts where we can get them for a dollar something a pound. Um, and if you have a walnut tree, tree, you know how prolific these are. They actually become kind of a nuisance for those people who have them in their yard. So they're pretty easy for me to get my hands on. I think at the grocery store you can get them for three dollars and something a pound. Um, we're not going to be using a tremendous amount of them on these, not as many as we would for a wreath for sure. Um, I saw a couple comments after the wreath video about whether or not the walnuts go bad because I do leave them whole like this. They've never gone bad on me. Um, now we're only displaying our wreaths or these kind of things for a month or two and then we store them and they're in a dry area. I suppose if they were exposed to a ton of moisture all the time, maybe they would go bad, but I've just never personally experienced that. So anyway, there's really nothing left to discuss except for getting these things done. I think I'm gonna start with this one first. I don't know why, it's just like kind of a nice wide cone form. And I'm just gonna start hot gluing moss and then hot gluing my stuff. Really simple. and I think it turned out really cute. This took about 30 minutes total. I guess it's not completely done. I still have to do my little bit of spray paint, but you know, you can leave it however you want. You can leave it raw like this, which I think is really nice. Um, this will add a little bit of shine to make it look a little bit more Christmas-esque. Even though you can use this fall or winter, I think it looks pretty either season. And you can use whatever kind of nuts or anything, like, you know, I showed you the cones earlier that you want. Like my sister-in-law got a hold of some chestnuts for free. So she made her wreath out of chestnuts and it's so cute. So I think you can take this in so many different directions. Uh, okay, so now I've got my piece of cardboard ready. I'm just gonna slide this underneath the cone and then we'll give it a little bit of spray paint. Let me do that. Holy moly. Of course, be helpful if I had like four hands, be real nice. So when I do my spray paint, I give a couple of sprays to the board just to make sure that it's not the clear stuff coming out. Sometimes it takes a while for the color to make it to the top and I just give it one of these. I don't want them to be completely gold. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that look. I just want them to have a little bit of gold coloring. Probably gotta open the greenhouse door now. <laughs> Ta-da! Perfect! So now I'm going to work on the sphere so I can show you what that looks like and how I'm going to utilize that one because these, you know, you can just set just like this. You don't have to have any kind of base for them and you can use them like I'm planning on using these on my mantle and I'm going to do a completely different video on that project. Um, you can use them as a centerpiece on a table, on a side table, however you want to use them. So the spheres are a little bit more squirrely though, so let's work on that one next.
right guys, so there's the walnut sphere that actually took less time than the cone. Um, and I really like how it turned out. I have this old iron urn that my mom actually gave me years ago. So I threw a little stain on it because I had a little hard water uh, issues going on down below. And then there's some soil in there, just a little bit enough to raise my little sphere up. And then I popped some fur in around it just for a nice natural look. Um, so I did want to mention that if you're making one of these, you need to consider how much bigger your end result's gonna be because like this is the same size of form as I used in this one. This one is the only one I could find in green, which I would prefer using green forms if I could find them, but they only had this size. Um, so look at how much bigger that is. Just because the additional moss and walnuts just creates a much bigger look. In fact, let me grab this sphere. I initially thought of using this size of sphere for this urn project. And I thought, no, I better start with the smaller one first and see how big it gets. And I'm glad I did that because this would have been a lot bigger. So um, I think I'm gonna move my operation inside now. So I am gonna be making three more. This one, I'll have this size. So this one will be quite large. And then this one will be smaller. I think that's it. Hold on, I thought I had four. So I'll have like a set of four of these, which will be so fun. But it's starting to get dark and cold because we're supposed to get our first snow of the season tonight. Uh, and I don't wanna finish this project out here. So I'm gonna uh, go place these somewhere, kind of stage them up a little bit so you guys can see like some ideas on how you can use them. Um, but I just overall think it's a really easy project. Um, you don't need a lot of supplies. It's not expensive and you can keep them for as long as you want to store them. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and we will see you in the next video. Bye.